Well, Konnichiwa, good evening, and welcome here to the Funabashi Arena for Game 1 of the semifinals of the B-League Basketball here between Chiba Jets, our host, and the visitors, Alvark Tokyo. Well, if you're not nervous, there is something seriously wrong with you. These two teams coming off the back of three-game series. Chiba Jets defeating the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Alvark Tokyo taking on Shimane Suzanne Magic. Both teams victorious and earning their right to play for the semifinals. Well, the other semifinal going on this evening will be between Yokohama Corsairs and Uruku Golden Kings. The Golden Kings making it to the finals last season, but losing to Utsunami Brex, the team that defeated Chiba Jets. The Jets winning the B League Playoff Championship in 2021. But this season, it's about the Triple Crown. They're on their way so far. Can they make it after winning the best record in the B League, the Emperor's Crown? Now they want to bring home the Playoff Championship. Visiting supporters of Alvark Tokyo, you can see with the Toyota black t-shirts on, they'll be here to support their team. A little bit of a local rivalry between both Chiba and Tokyo. And as we mentioned, Alvark Tokyo being pushed to a third game series after losing the second game against Shimani Susanna Magic. Alvark Tokyo proving to be the better team, but Shiba Jets, many very surprised to see. Hiroshima Dragonflies upset them in game one, but nonetheless turning that series around led by Yuki Togashi and John Mooney. Well, some of the key players you're going to see here for Alvark Tokyo will be the likes of Seba Saiz, the Spanish international. They have had some injuries. Remember, Daiki Tanaka was missing game one, but let's take a look at the highlights here from the Dragonfly series against Chiba Jets. Togashi really did get things going, but the defensive presence of Victor Law, both ends of the floor, making three-pointers down the other end. But Law did pick up an injury. Now, Christopher Smith, that was a three-pointer hitting at the end of the first half, lighting it up from downtown. Shutahara showing his presence, getting to the bucket, and kissing that one off the backboard. Togashi finding Mooney, going back door, throwing it down with no regard for the defense. Takuma Sato, much of a set shooter, but again, when this guy gets it going and left wide open, my word, he can make it right here down near the capital city. Well, that was game three. John Patrick's team leaving with the victory. And this is game three. Tokyo winning narrowly by one point against Shimane, Susanna Magic. Seven sides. He picks, he pops from the mid range and nailing the 15 foot jump shot. Well, perimeter shooting was key in this series, especially in Game 3. Tokyo making it count from downtown. The 42-18 and 18 record speaks for itself. But they really had to dig deep in this one. Oh, Sakabe, there you can see they're trying to push a transition along with Shuto Ando. But look at the Hell Mary 3. Well, when it rains, it pours. And that was a big steal there by Seba Saiz, trying to push the tempo. But the one-point victory, it goes in favor. Shuto Ando, no need to shoot the ball. No Shuto Ando. Alvok Tokyo, coached by the great Adamitis from Lithuania. Used to be the head coach of the Lithuanian national team at the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Well, some of his key players, Alex Kirk, the big man, along with Seba Saiz, Taiki Osakabi, and Zach Baranski, Shuto Ando, national team player with naturalized Japanese player Ryan Rossiter. The addition of Justin Cobbs this season. But again, Daiki Tanaka will be a doubt. Well, Chiba Jets, arguably the greatest team probably in regular season history of the B-League, setting a B-League record for 24 consecutive victories. So not only winning the best record, but also the Emperor's Crown. Here is the time these two played against each other in the regular season. And the matchup is going to be key between Osakabe and Yuki Togashi. Probably the two best guys you're going to find here in Japanese basketball. What's well, the head-to-head -head matchup? Shuto Ando, one of the best shooters, as we mentioned, plays for Akatsuki's five for the Japanese national team. We'll probably see him 
in Okinawa this summer at the FIBA World Cup. And then you can see the three-point shooting, 35% from downtown, just under 40% from the field, and averaging 11.8 points per game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you now to introduce the players for today's game. Well, we're going to introduce the players for today's game. We're going to start with the Chiba Jets. Probably the starting lineup that we're going to see here tonight. Gavin Edwards, Victor Lord, John Mooney, Yuki Togashi. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Shutahara with Christopher Smith coming off the bench with Takuma Sato. Well, I'd like to give some shout-outs already to JRC saying, let's go, Chiba Jets. And JRC currently on the live YouTube chat, a Chiba Jets fan. So Gashi will be in the starting lineup with Vic Law in the backcourt. And Gavin Edwards will be the man in the middle with Shuta Hara. And two mangoes. Shout out to two mangoes making it in time for the fireworks. Welcome. John Mooney will play power forward here for Chiba Jets. So going with an interesting lineup here at the moment. Well, again, we give a shout out to people on the live chat. JRC, Chiba Jets man, and two mangoes. Making it in time for the fireworks. John Patrick, the head coach of the Chiba Jets. John Patrick is renowned for being a coach who gets results. In the case of when he coached in Germany for over a decade with MRP Reason Ludwigsburg. Taking them to two FIBA Basel Champions League Final Fours in 2018 and last year in 2022. Remember, John Patrick, this is the team he used to coach. Patrick used to be the coach of Alvok Tokyo in 2006. Well, there is Osakabe, the Makua player. They'll also have Seba Saiz and Alex Kirk in the starting lineup. It looks like Zach Baranski probably will start tonight here. And Daiki Tanaki, questionable whether he'll be in the lineup. Coach Adomitis, a legend of Lithuanian basketball. The 2019 FIBA World Cup head coach. For the national team of Lithuania. 
There are three referees here for tonight's game. We're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight for B-League Basketball semifinals between Chiba Jets and Alva Tokyo. Well, there are your head-to-heads. Shuto Ando will match up with Yuki Togashi. Shutohara with Osakabe. Seba Saiz will have the defensive matchup against Gavin Edwards. John Mooney and Alex Kirk will go face-to-face. -face. While Baranski will have the tough job of trying to handle Vic Law. Vic Law arguably one of the best scorers here in the B-League. So that will probably be the Achilles heel for Alva Tokyo tonight. But we'll find out as we're now moments away just from getting this game underway. Well, if you are watching live on the YouTube stream, let us know where you're watching, which team you're supporting, and we will give you a shout out here. And Pikachu DJ says, I'm cheering for Alvac, but it's pretty unlikely that they're going to win. Interesting there. So, Pikachu DJ on the live YouTube chat, supporting Alvac Tokyo, but knowing how great a team Chiba is. May Tan, welcome back, May Tan. Supporting Alvac Tokyo. Let's get this game underway. Sagashi running around ball screens now. Being heavily defended by the Alvac Tokyo defense. Gavin Edwards picks some pops, goes for three pointer, can't get it. Tokyo just getting their first possession. I mean, defensively, Chiba one of the best here in the B League. Here's Kirk now, trying to find Baranski. They're gonna go down low, seven sides. Catching a very awkward pass. And no fires from no man's land. Use the backboard, but no good. Well, two mangoes wanting Chiba Jets to win. A Chiba fan, so we got a more Chiba fan. Togashi pulls up, three, fires, got it! And that is what Yuki Togashi does best. You see this man play for the Japanese national team. He will shoot the ball from almost anywhere on the three-point line. Doesn't that matter anywhere in the backcourt. Going down low to Alex Cook. Trying to get the post up here against Gavin Edwards. Forcing his way in. Too big and strong, but can't get it. And that's a solid defense. Well, it was a great defense by John Mooney, excuse me. So, yeah, she's made one three. Doesn't get this one. And you'll find this with Chiba Jets. They will shoot a lot of three pointers here tonight. So, it becomes a bit of cat and mouse gambling defense from Alvok Tokyo. Well, thank you very much to Maytan. Maytan, where are you watching right now? Sai is trying to post up. Has a mismatch going up and using the backboard effectively. Set of size and Alvok Tokyo identifying the mismatch against Vic Lore in the low post. And maybe that's something that they have to do all night long. In the lane now, throws it down. Mooney, again, you can see this man fly a few times in the quarterfinals against Hiroshima. So two mangoes just said, I am supporting the underdogs, but Chiba Jets are the top dog. That's correct, yeah. Well, Science has made a few threes here in the playoffs. Doesn't get this one. Chiba secure the rebound. Tokyo looking a little bit nervous in their offense. I don't even get any high percentage looks. Moore hesitates all the way, shakes, bakes, fakes, and he gets to the bucket. And all of a sudden, Adamitis on Alva Tokyo having to go timeout. So, Jay Gokusan says, hopefully Tokyo don't lose by more than eight points. And Meitan Magandan Arao watching in Sapilapina says, Vic Law just gets straight to the bucket. I mean, he took a travel card from Manila to Makati City, maybe all the way to Quezon City. Pikachu DJ, that is correct. I do do the FIBA Basketball Champions League, but right now it's all about B-League Basketball. I mean, we are looking at probably the greatest team in the history of B-League Basketball, and that is Chiba Jets. Well, that man there, John Patrick, funny you mentioned Champions League Basketball. He was the head coach for this team, Tokyo Alvac, in 2006, but then moving to Germany with his wife and kids. His wife is German, 
and over a decade of creating an excellence of culture at MRP Reason Ludwigsburg, a German basketball team that's regularly in the Basketball Champions League. And that man there, Coach Adam Itis, was another coach in the Basketball Champions League when he was the head coach in Lithuania for Neptunus Kleipeda. One of his players, Jimmy Barron, setting a record for the most ever three-pointers in a game in the Champions League, and that was nine three-pointers. I mean, it's great to see the quality and caliber of coaches and players we have here in the Japanese B-League. Alvark Tokyo, Chiba Jets, when you look at the record books, they are two of the greatest dynasties here in Japanese basketball. York Chan, welcome, my friend. Obviously wanting Alvark Tokyo to win this game. At the moment, can only trail by five points. Goes in the lane, great to defense. Well, that is what Vic Will gives you on both ends of the floor. Size needs to be a little bit stronger. Chiba do such a good job of switching on, well, setting so many screens and getting so many mismatches. In that case, Shuso Ando having to defend John Moody in the post. May 10, that's correct. I'll be in Manila. We can uh, enjoy some Jolly Bee at some time. They call me Jolly Bee Josh as Vic Law step back, left uncontested. And Tokyo just getting away with that one. Well, we currently have 206 viewers in the YouTube live stream. Let us know who you're supporting and where are you watching currently in the world? This game is being played just outside the capital city of Tokyo. Alvac pull up for another three points. Still can't get it. Size battling for rebounds. And nothing dropping here for Alvac. Post up here for Gavin Edwards. Goes for the Dirk Nowitzki mid-range fadeaway. Can't get the drop. Well, shout out to Darlene McFall Smith. Obviously supporting Christopher Smith and a Chiba Jets fan. Let me tell you something, Darlene. Christopher Smith is a certified walking bucket. When he gets on the court, everybody will see this is Alvac Tokyo with Osakabe with the post up. A great post up. Shout out to Harley Reyes. Welcome. Magandanarao Kaibigan. There's another mid range back. So Gashi just getting the rim in and out. Here's a problem for Alvac. Another three. Three is up. As Hiroshima Dragonflies found out in games two and three, you just cannot let. Chiba Jets get too many offensive rebounds. The more second chances they commit, or well, they get, excuse me, the more problems that they're going to cause. Well, shout out to TSG, Mr. Anthony from Long Island, New York, supporting the Chiba Jets. Welcome. And to Rax, watching from Alaska, supporting Chiba. Welcome, Rax, to the live YouTube chat. Change coming into the game for Alvac Token. Hirotaki Yoshi subbing in along with, well, Christopher Smith. Let me tell you about Christopher Smith. This guy set a bit of deja vu in games one and two, hitting a buzzer beater three pointer at the end of the first half in the exact same positions in game one and two. Well, shout out to Joseph Narido. Welcome, my friend. Which team are you supporting, Joseph? Mooney can't make these threes in the corner. No good. Chiba missing the last four three-pointers. York Chan, indeed, yes, indeed. Yesterday it was two good games. But right now it's all about B-League basketball. Osakami running around double screens, almost turning it over. Five seconds here, has to get something going. Hell Mary three over Mooney. Doesn't get it, but the tip in by Alex Kirk, putting his hand in the cookie jar. Now Vox Tokyo fighting and clawing for every single field goal. Trying to make everything count against the very best team here in the B-League. Well, Sagashi turning it over. The foul has been committed. Well, the double team came from seven sides. It was good defense by Shito Ando. Well, shout out to Johannes Pat. Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Ich liebe Deutschland. Supporting the Jets from Germany. Welcome. So we've got supporters in the United States, in Europe, in the Philippines. Anywhere else we have fans in Africa, South America. Let us know. Where are you watching? 
So Yashi running off ball screens. Pick and pop here with Mooney. Pump fakes. Steps back. Another three-pointer. Well, he's one for four from the perimeter. Well, Kyle Kristen, Kim Singh, welcome. Magadan Arao. Magadan Umaga for me, and maybe Magadan Yabi for you, but at the moment. Well, Sakami goes one-legged fadeaway. That's a terrible shot. Tokyo not getting into any rhythm here at the moment. The foul is going to be committed by Osakabe. See, if you watch a lot of European basketball, that maybe could have been upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul. But one thing I love about B-League basketball there's a lot of physicality in this game. It's now Alvac Tokyo going into a zone defense. A 1-3-1. One, one. She would like to shoot from the perimeter. And that's going to be a problem. If you want to play a zone against the best perimeter shooting team, you will buy the, pay the price. Excuse me. My apologies. As a Sato Ogawa. Able to triple in the corner. Well, shout out to Jason Lin. Welcome. And shout out to B1. Tokyo again. Struggling against... The Chiba defense. Trying to go baseline. A dish off Alex Kirk. Oh my goodness! Salamat Bellano. Oh no, 24 second violation. Are you kidding me? This guy decided to go Ange Kwame on the Chiba Jets defense, but it will not count. Alex Kirk committed a crime, but didn't get it off in time, so. We'll go back to Chiba Jets. Well, York Chan has made a very interesting debate there. Should the Chiba Jets play against Real Madrid? That would be a very interesting matchup. I'd like to see that. I would really, really pay some money to go watch that. I think that'd be a good game. Definitely. Chiba with a four-point lead. Smith Curlin. What did I tell you? This guy is a certified walking bucket. Curlin screen like Reggie Millen. Elevate. I mean, the elevation on his jump shot. You can't block. You can't block Smith. It's simple as that. Well, Darlene McFall Smith, you are watching. Christopher Smith, I tell you, he is on fire. Somebody better call the electrician because when Christopher Smith hits the court, he will shoot the lights out. That's that's a given. We've seen many arenas black out here, of course, because the lights have been turned off. Sideline ball here to Tokyo, trailing by seven points. Tokyo just need to find some inspiration. Still no Daiki Tanaka in this game. He does have an injury. And there's another kick out. Another three. Again, just can't get it to drop. They get in the wide open looks. But Tokyo just, just unable to knock him down here at the moment. Smith now hesitation all the way. Again, beautiful move by Christopher Smith. Well, this guy will kill you on the perimeter, but again, just how he just gets right to the bucket. Well, Yo Chan, I don't need to remember that because I kind of already knew it's going to happen. So, another cross court. Well, had a wide open look, didn't go for it. Tokyo losing their confidence here. Kirk trying to post up. Getting pushed around by John Mooney. Good defense. Smith now, beautiful pass, finding Moody under the basket again. No help side defense. Alvac Tokyo paying the price heavily. Now it's a double digit 11 point lead here for Chiba Jets. Remember this season, 24 consecutive wins for Chiba. And Alvac depleted with injuries. Well, you gotta make this three. Three is up, no good. And no foul call, but an offensive rebound. Nice in the mid-range. Takes it for 15 feet. Now we'll 
Settle the nerves down. They were really struggling for buckets. At the moment, Alvok Tokyo trying to get everything in the low post. But struggling to get good looks on the perimeter, but also not having any perimeter shooters. I mean, without Justin Cobbs and without Daiki Tanaka, it really does affect how they go about this game on the perimeter. Mooney spinning, turning it over. Good defense. Now, can Tokyo push this one? Mando drawing the foul. And that will be a baseline possession to Alvok Tokyo. It's going to be called against Kumasato. Three team fouls for both these two teams. Well, Shuto Ando, preferably when you see him play in the regular season or for the Japanese national team, I mean, he's a spot up for him to shoot, but at the moment, he's going to have to play combo guard for Alvok Tokyo because they have nothing going for them in the backcourt. And Osakabe checking back in for Alvok Tokyo. Finding a bit of space. Size now. Twist, it goes to the top fadeaway. Yeah, poor shot. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. Down the lane now, finding Gavin Evans. Sure, that's a traveling violation. That goes out of bounds. Another turnover. The Chiba Jets. Kumasato. Well, we currently have 365 viewers on the live YouTube chat. Let us know where are you watching in the world and which team are you supporting? Are you supporting Chiba Jets or are you supporting Albach Tokyo? This is B League Playoffs. Game one of the semifinals. Yokohama B Corsa has currently taken on Ruku Golden Kings. That's a penetration all the way. That's going to tip it. A much better play by Tokyo, cutting it down to a seven point ball game. 2.9 seconds left here in the first quarter. Now, Tokyo do have one foul to give. John Patrick telling Vic Law and telling Gavin Edwards. Gavin Edwards did this in game three against the Rushman Dragonfly, saying, look, fake it and go long. Try to go for the touchdown play. Well, getting down to Edwards. Edwards throws us up a prayer. Well, almost got it. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Chiba Jets currently hosting Alvac Tokyo with a seven-point lead, 17 to 10 in game one of well, the semifinals of the 2022-23 B-League playoffs. Alvac Tokyo struggling for points. Well, we'll be back momentarily. We're going to give some shout-outs now to some people here on the live chat. Shout-out to Carl Christian Kim Singh. And shout-out to Mark09 and Kuze and Aprio Production. Watching at 3 a.m. in the Windy City of Chicago. Shout-out to The Professor and Rax as well. And shout out to Yo Chan and to my good friend, my favorite fan right now, Mei Tan, Magandan, Umaga, or Magandan Gabi, wherever you are watching. You're currently in the Philippines. At the moment, I am commentating this game from London. And I'll tell you, at the end of this game, I'm looking forward to a little bit of a light meal at Jolly Bee.
we're gonna get the second quarter underway. Shout out to Red Me, Red Me, I guess, Jason Lynn, Epic Music, and Temp Narido, welcome. And Lauri Lucari watching from Da Nang in Vietnam. Xin chào, em quay hum. Well, the post up there. Again, they gotta make that one because Seven Saez won't get many good looks in the post. Chiba's defense, every time somebody tries to go in the low block, as we saw for Kai Soto, they just collapse the paint. Gavin Edwards is going to get called for the offensive foul, the illegal screen. Well, watch Edwards here as he sets the ball screen. Again, just goes to body check him. Well, Jason Lynn, if you're asking if I'm from the Philippines, no, I'm from London. I am British, half British, half Italian. But, uh, Mahalako sa Pilipinas. Tokyo trying to go down low again. Sabasai, got it by Vic Law. Kicks out another open three point, doesn't go for it. Finds it again, throws it down. Muchos gracias. Thank you very much. Seba Saez winning the Euro Basket this summer with the Spanish national team. He was a teammate of Bo Cruz. That's right, the main character from the movie Hustle as they defeated Rudy Gobert in France in the final. And what did I tell you? Darlene McFall Smith, what did I say? What did we just see? Christopher Smith, the certified walking bucket, hitting another three-pointer. Well, Maytown, I'm not quite sure because he played in some of the games against Shilani, but I'm not sure how bad the injury is. As Alex Kirk gets the offensive rebound from the missed attempt to seven size. Well, Maytan, going back to what you said, it will be interesting because without Justin Cobbs and Daiki Tanaka, you clearly see that there is a you know, a bit of a difference in Alvac Tokyo's backcourt play because Chiba Jets, they're great in the backcourt with players such as Togashi and Shutahara. Whereas Tokyo, currently the only game they've got is in the low post with players such as Kirk and Seba Saiz. Well, shout out to Tef Narido. Kirk makes both free throws. Cutting it down to a six point bowl game. Dribbling the space with nowhere to go. Tokyo staying in a 2 3 zone. Wide open three. Corner. Hara takes it. Nails it. And again, you want to play a zone defense against the very best three point shooting team here in the B League. You are going to pay the price. Credit the way Chiba Jets move the ball effectively and just get the wide open look. And a bullet pass coming from Sebasai. He's trying to find Baratsky underneath. Moransky just unable to catch that one. He's now had Demitis. He's going to bring Shuto Ando back into the game. We currently now have 324 viewers on the live YouTube stream. And I want to ask everybody, is everybody looking forward to the 2023 FIBA World Cup? It's going to be hosted. Well, what an easy bucket there again. Well, as I said, the World Cup is going to be hosted in Indonesia, in Jakarta, here in Japan, in Okinawa. It's a great facility. I was there in February and in probably the greatest basketball country in the world, the Philippines. Will you be there and which team will you be supporting? 2023 FIBA World Cup. Sakani so going up, throwing up a little prayer, finding the backboard, getting the drop, cutting it down to single digits. Finding Gavin Edwards. That's a wide open shot again. It just causing problems. Tokyo's defense running circles. Like Sonic the Hedgehog at the moment. Chiba just getting wide open looks. An offensive foul is going to call against Osakabe. And this is becoming a disaster for Alvac Tokyo. No identity, no rhythm. 
Osakami here. Well, I'm not sure Osakami did anything. To me, that looks like a little bit of a sell job by that man. He knows it too. In the lane now, can't get it. Size of the rebound. Now they try to push this one. 11 point lead. Alva just need confidence in. And he cut it down to single digits going into the second half. Also kind of throwing a hard one to Bransky. Bransky's able to keep that one alive. Down to Kirk. That's another three. Just getting it to rattle in. 316 style. Now do they confidence a one. One to eight point deficit. Zach Bransky getting his first field goal of the game. Trying to back to a play, takes the deflection, but that will be Chiba Jets pulling the baseline. Much better recovery defense by Alvac Tokyo. It was quite a flat shot, but he just got the drop on it. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Tignashi looking to step through, trying to get a handoff. Give and go play, but a foul is going to be called on the ground. And Adamitis infuriated with the decision. He needs to calm down because he doesn't want to pick up a technical foul. Oh, that's an illegal screen. The foul should be on Gavin Edwards. And Osakabe stares down the referee. And again, I got to agree with Adamitis. When Edwards set the screen, he was moving. If you saw to the left of Osakabe, Ryan Rossiter also missing from this game due to injury. The naturalized Japanese player. Moody thought about taking the three-pointer. Comes back up to Gashi, but Vic Law steps through mid-range, high release. Can't get it. Cross court now, again, finding Saiz. Turn around, doesn't get it. Saiz is really struggling. Again, normal looks, you would see him tuck away. The defense causing too much problems. Another turn of now. Can they get something here in transition? Nobody really running for Alvac Tokyo. Sides going for 15 feet. Easily tucks that one away. Six point deficit. Alvac slowly but surely staying in this game, trying to get back. Well, we have a question right now. What is the meaning of SMH? That's a... Uh, I would say San Miguel Herman, maybe? Yeah, San Miguel Herman. The new PBA team that's going to exist next year. Salamat JRC, Salamat Maytan. I knew you guys would like that one. I was a bit confused when I saw the question about SMH. I thought that was a Captain Obvious moment, but I'm glad I'm glad you both liked that joke. But anyway, six point lead. That man trying to get Alvac Tokyo back into this game. Well, they can see the championships of Alvac Tokyo. How they've done in the B League in recent years. Get this back underway. Tokyo standing in the zone defense. The Smiths made two threes. They get away, they take a gamble on that one. And that's a rarity. Christopher Smith does not usually miss open shots. Let me tell you that. 419 live viewers here on the YouTube stream. A lot of people confident Chiba will win this with the home court advantage. 
And no hesitation. Teardrop doesn't get. That's a good move, but he's got to finish that one. The foul committed by Alvac Tokyo. And that's on Gen Hiraiwa. And he'll go to the bench to take a breather. Well, another timeout. Let's see what these two teams have to say to each other in this timeout. Well, shout out to Maytan, Kuze, Choi B, JRC, Read Me, Read Me, and Jelani. I think that's how I say your name, right? Jelani saying she will win this with the home court, Jason Lin and Jay Goku Son. Shout out to Elizabeth Batista, watching from Maiko Langot. And Elizabeth asked me, what are my thoughts about this match? Who do I think will win this one? Well, I'd say Albach Tokyo, very depleted without Ryan Rossiter, without Daiki Tanaka, and without Justin Cobbs. It really hurts the chance, but it's only a six-point ball game right now. Shutara, make that a nine-point ball game as Hara-san. Arigato Gozamas with the three-pointer. Well, if it keeps going like this, and Chiba, again, getting open looks to the perimeter. Choi B, I'll say it. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. I know you guys like that one. Trying to go down the lane now. Going off the backboard. Kenny, the kiss off the dream. The bank of Chiba is open for Alvac Tokyo. Beautifully tucked away by Reju Sasakura-san. Again, Alvox staying that zone defense, cutting it down to a seven point ball game. Foul has been committed. That's going to be the last team foul for Alvox Tokyo. That's a fourth team foul. Zach Morassi is going to come back into the game. Maytan, yes, I believe so, because there you can see Tanaka, Justin Cobbs, and Ryan Ross, the three key influential players missing. Alvac, it's live and die by this game. Take the chances, rest the three best players, and try to get them back for game two. Staying his own defense. Smith with the ball. Seven point lead to the Jets. That's got to be a 24 second violation. And even when the certified walking bucket makes it rain, unfortunately, he didn't get it off in time. Good defense by Alvac Tokyo is John Patrick. Making a change to bring Takuma Sato back into the game. 3-12 to go here in the first half. Ah, now Moody will play the center role. made one three tries another one again seven nerves cutting it down to a four point ball game that's a huge three pointer by Zach Baranski that does just lift the confidence of these Alvac Tokyo players now we're going baseline getting out the Moody trying to run the corner again almost turning it over Sato saving it with his life reverse slam what did we just see are you kidding me what a beautiful move, Fumio Nishimura. Putting a bit of renaissance in his basketball, going to the lane with the wraparound layup. 
six point lead is set aside. He's being heavily defended. Throw it away. Nishimura with the still now. Jets have numbers. Smith bumping, almost getting it. That's going to be two free throws. And all of a sudden, a four point lead now potentially turns into an eight point deficit. Nishimura with the magic wraparound. That's what I like to call B E A beautiful. Salamat Bellanel. No, excuse me, sorry. Salamat Nishimura Sad. Smith making the second free throw. Now it's a seven point ball game. Without the three point shooters, Alba Tokyo have to really dig deep and find other ways to score. They must go for offensive rebounds. Seven sites caught that in Oakland angle, but had time to turn around. He is really struggling. And at the moment, Alba Tokyo just need a bit of Laban Pilipinas and just a little bit of Puso. Mooney goes in. No foul call, gets his own rebound. Sato, another miss, another offensive rebound. Sato almost turning it over. Nishimura, the pass was becoming like a pinball out there. He actually kicks out. Sato gets rejected, gets some rebound. Oh, baby! Looking like baby Dwight Ramos out there. He got the shot blocked, still came up with it. Well, Tsugashi looking like Jimmy Alapag. There's baby Dwight Ramos, the block shot. And again, Anangodas Nangayan. It is Takuma Sato time. Magadagabi. Well, you gotta love this guy. 10 point ball game. 121 to go here in the second quarter. Well, shout out to Daryl Logimeno, Choi B, Jelani, JRC, Salamapo for your kind comments, and Tayang Yongbei, Gamsam Hamnida. 121 to go here. 10 point lead to the Chiba Jets. Tubatak Bowen Batak Nalaki. Kumakaena Kolnak Jolly B. Nayon. Let's get this underway. 121 to go. Remember, Chiba Jets have been the best team so far here in the regular season. They set the record for 24 consecutive victories, coached by John Patrick. And as I said before, John Patrick was the head coach back in 2006. 
of Albach Tokyo before moving to Germany. Albach want to cut this down here to single digits. And they are struggling in the post. Trying to go again to set a size. Again, another turnover. Size really is struggling here. Takashi spinning now, pump faking. Trying to go for three pointer. 10 here on the shot clock. Wall pulls up. He'll take it. Ooh, we are not. Hayop Panis Maho Akosa Pilipinas. Salamat Bellanel. Excuse me, no. Salamat Vic Law. He is on fire at the moment. Trying to get things going. 13 point lead. Baranski's made one three. Let's also get this one. He's made two, excuse me. This is becoming a problem. Two seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. The Tokyo need to dig deep here. They cannot afford to commit a foul. Any fouls, and they'll send Shiba to the free throw line. So Gashi pulls up mid range, takes it. Front eye, can't get it. Three seconds left. Can he get something? All the way, goes up. Ooh, we are not. High up, Panis. Magadaru Maga. Magadan Tanghali and Magadan Gabi going coast to coast. Well, there you can see the transition play. Looking like baby Dr. J in transition. Count it. And he'll go to the free throw line. Well, this is going to be a big play for Albach Tokyo. Potentially, Hiro Takayoshi. They're trying to see if he got it off in time. I think he did. So you can probably cut this down to a 10-point ball game if he makes a free throw. So one free throw under the way. And a chance to make this. Ten point deficit. JRC Salamat Kai Began. Ang Pagalam Mo Akosi Josh Bet. Mahola Ko Sa Alvar Tokyo and Chiba Jets. Game one here. Makes the free throw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first half. Alvar Tokyo trailing by 10 points here. 39 to 29 against Shiba Jets. Well, we're going to have a 20 minute break here for the halftime interval. So go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. We'll be back for the second half. This is B League Playoff Basketball. We'll be back soon.
Welcome back, Basel fans. Second half underway pretty soon here between Albach Tokyo and Chiba Jets. Here are some highlights from the first half. Christopher Smith, the certified walking bucket. Make it! The Reggie Miller S3 point then getting to the bucket with a finger roll. Well, Albach really have struggled from the perimeter so far in this game. Well, there was a penetration down the middle by Yoshi-san finding a one-handed jam from Seba Saiz. Well, shout out to Donnie Ray Bayas. Welcome, my friend. Salamapo. Pete Smith watching Christopher Smith from Sacramento, California. No doubt a big time LA Lakers fan in my mind. Well, Pikachu DJ supporting Andomitis from Lithuania. Labas, Mano Drogas, Cape Sakase, Ashmilo Lietuvska. Man patinka krepšini. That was a deep three-pointer. Size really strong from the perimeter, but Baranski, no problem. When the rain come down, that was his second trade ball tonight. And that cut it down to a four-point ball game, but then it just became an entourage here. Takuma Sato almost turning it over. We find Nishimura with the magic. What did we just see on that play? Well, here was the block shot by Kirks. Okay, Zakuma Sato, but Sato cleaning up with the garbage and on the three-pointer. And it was the final play of the first half. Layup made by Yoshi-san. Getting the M1. Here are the stats from the first half. Chiba, 39 points, eight three-pointers so far. 50%, very impressive. Seven for 15 for inside the rainbow. Only one free throw made out of two, but so far locked in at four offensive rebounds. They are winning that battle 17 to 15 in favor. The turnovers have been too much in this game so far. Really has been the difference between both of them. We currently have Pikachu DJ watching from Lithuania, Lietuvio, Iconis or Vilnius, supporting Adamitis, Jeleni watching Guapako, Salamapo, Smith with nine points, Baratsky with eight, leading the way so far here for Alvac Tokyo. Four rebounds coming from Sabasahis and Vic Law chipping in four, while Yoshi with two assists and Law with four assists for that matter as well. Welcome back, Basel fans. YouTube live stream of the semifinals of 2022-23 B-League playoffs between Chiba Jets and Alvac Tokyo. This is game one. Remember, Alvac Tokyo defeating Shimane Susanna Magic in the quarterfinals in a three-game series. While Chiba Jets losing the opener in game one against Hiroshima Dragonflies, but winning both games two and three. Well, Vasa fans, we have fans watching from Sacramento, watching from elsewhere in the United States. In Europe, we've got some fans in Germany, Lithuania, and in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, the Philippines. Where are you watching and who are you supporting? Second half action about to be underway. Shout out to Donny Ray Benes. Welcome, my friend. Como está, po? Malbach coming out an interesting zone defense. So yeah, she almost fumbled in the ball. So yeah, she takes a three-point, can't get it. And that goes, well, staying in bounds in the hustle play. That's the difference between these two teams. Alvac Tokyo, just not hungry enough. 
Both pulls up in the mid-range. Takes it. Still can't get it. Another offensive rebound. Tyra tries deep three. Punishment time! Alvar Tokyo had the last donut, but nobody cool box out. Well, they had a box of Krispy Kremes, Dunkin' Donuts. Goes in with a fang wrong. Gets the out one. That will do Alvar Tokyo a lot of confidence. Well, shout out to Karol Pietrovic watching from Polska. Shema Yakshimash. Kohame Polska. Well, shout out to Jelani watching from the Philippines in Mindanao. As well as Donnie Ray Bellis watching from the Philippines as well. 1 3 1 zone defense. Back to a 10 point ball game. Ira made his last three. Makes another one. Somebody called the fire department. Shoots Ahara. This guy is cooking it up right now. We have an emergency. This is a fire drill. Find the next nearest exit. Shutahara is lighting it up. Now Avak tries another three-pointer. Can't get a rebound by Vic Law. Chiba looking to push this one. In the corner. Oh my goodness gracious! This guy! Are you kidding me? Call the electrician. He shoots the lights out. Find the nearest exit. We got a fire emergency. And get your umbrellas out. Shutahara is making it rain. Hara-san, Ichi, Ni, San, Arigato Gozamas. Thank you very much. Ayasu Minasai. Good night. Well, it's incredible the influence that one player can have on the game simply from his perimeter shooting. But Shutahara, this is not something new. This guy does this on a regular basis for the Japanese national team. Katsuki's five we saw in the FIBA Asia Cup and the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. <laughs> I got to agree with you. Choi B, Uwiana. That's got to be Shutahara's middle name. Shuta Uwiana Tokyo now trailing by 16. It has been raining three-pointers, and they almost turned over again. That goes out of bounds, but that will be Alvac Tokyo. Well, May 10, I got to tell you, without Justin Cobbs, without Ryan Ross and Daiki Tanaka, defensively, more importantly, they are struggling. Shout out Salamat Choi B and Salamat Pedron Kalawit. Pulls up in the mid-range. Still can't get it. Goes out of bounds, but it will be Alva Tokyo Ball. As it comes off of John Mooney. The turnover again. Now they got numbers. That was alley time. Oh, ooh, we are not. Maganda Gabi. Oh, baby. It is showtime. Chiba basketball. Well, you gotta love that play. And they turn it over. And this is becoming a disaster now. Alvar Tokyo. Lack of communication. Looks like they've resigned to themselves. And he is perplexed. The great Adamitis. Lithuanian legend. Salama Pedrong. Come 
Well, Moody left on Contessa, man. What is going on? Alex Kirk inviting him to take a wide open three-pointer. I mean, this was a four-point game with a minute to go in the second quarter. Now it's a 21-point lead. Chiba. I mean, they are unstoppable, but you got to look at the defense here from Alvac Tokyo. You cannot let John Mooney have a wide open three pointer. Well, there was a steal. Good hands with Gavin Edwards. Which led to the alley oop in transition from Shutahara. Well, Shuto hand over three. Front iron doesn't get it. Home rebound finds Kirk on the basket. He finishes. Maybe unlucky not to get the M1. down the middle goes up somehow gets it but nobody cool box out and again John Mooney just gets the best tip in well thank you to Plunkett's shout out to Plunkett's Carlo Reyes and Michael Angelo and Sekiro Susima and Akolan Guapo which I'm pretty sure means I'm handsome talking about yourself that is of course what a move there looking like Hakeem the Dream Elijah one Silver size really has struggled in this game at 10 points so far this evening. Shout out to Michael Angelo as well. Shout out to everybody else. Miguel Gabriel Sto Domingo. Welcome. Another D3. Can't get it. That one's going to be cooled on the ground. It's going to be possession back to the Chiba Jets. And shout out to Tristan Carlo as well. Welcome to the Carlo family. Sakabe goes to the bench to take a breather. And Tristan Cato of Butuan City. Six thirteen to go here in the third quarter. It's becoming a domination here by Chiba Jets. The perimeter shooting has been phenomenal. Remember, coming into the second half, they were eight for sixteen for downtown, shooting a spectacular fifty percent. And Shutahara three threes already here in the third. You can see right now they want to get the ball to him under the basket. I mean, this guy, I mean, now he's just showing off. Making the game look so easy. And we got a timeout. Shout out to Plunkett's, Ayushman, Shoudhury. I love basketball. I got to agree with you. And you're right, Plunkett's. The winner of this series will qualify for the 2023-24 East Asian Super League. That was hosted in Utsunomiya and Okinawa, Japan this season. I was there, I was commentating with the great Dean Kanito Hansen at the East Asian Super League this year. Twenty-one point deficit. Tokyo in desperate need of some inspiration. Really struggle in this game. A bit of a hot bump by Gavin Edwards. No foul call though. Science finding Kirk under the basket. Kirk goes up. Gets the M1. That's a nice little dish coming from Seba Saiz. Well, watch this. Is there a foul here? Well, prior to that win. Seven sides trying to cut across the paint. He felt there was an elbow to the face. Nothing was called. A 
Both sides getting the offensive rebound. And can't throw it down. That's what they need. That's a four-point play for Alvac Tokyo. 12 points to set size. Well, the problem they got to deal with is trying to shut down the perimeter shooting is Togashi. Martin Edwards under the basket goes up, reverse layup, getting down one. And that's just too easy. That is simply too easy there. Well, shout out to G on the live YouTube stream. Thank you for your kind comments. This is becoming a total wipeout. Shiba Jets do what they do best. Dominate on the basketball floor, but on both ends. Defensively and in the offense. Moody gets a three-point play back to the 20-point ball game. Kill going down, trying to find seven sides. Got it by Christopher Smith. There's a kick out in the corner. Got to make this three wide open. Can't get it. Cook the offensive rebound, but a foul is going to be called. That's going to be the fourth team foul against Chiba Jets. John Patrick changing up his lineup as John Moody will go to the bench, take a breather. Vic Law coming back into the game. So Chiba go with a smaller lineup here at the moment. With a 20 point lead, total control of this game. Well, shout out to Gerald Tabada in Tokyo at the moment. Friend of Mr. G on the live YouTube stream. Shout out to Angel Jacoso of Surigao City in the Philippines. Blocking foul is going to be called against Tokyo yet again. Well, that's a mismatch all day long. I mean, Christopher Smith, it doesn't matter who you have defending him, it's always going to be a mismatch. You can only hope to contain Christopher Smith. As I mentioned, alias Christopher Smith. Occupation, a certified walking bucket. Here's the man who's caused lots of problems. Hara kicking out, finding Law. Takes a wide over three, and a little bit of string music on that one. Nothing but net from Vic Law. Now it's a 23 point ball game. Well, Chiba's just having fun. And they're having fun by dominating. It's because of that man. Remember, a decade of excellence in Germany, coaching MRP recent Ludwigsburg was John Patrick. Once was the coach of Alvar Tokyo in 2006, but has returned to Japan. And Tokyo again, no confidence is Reiju Sasakura misses the free throw. 25 years of age, 187 centimeters. Hasn't played much in the regular season, but due to the absence of Justin Cobbs and Daki Tanaka. Smith now spinning around, going all the way, bullying his way to the basket. Somebody put this man in detention. Call the principal, because that's what I call bully basketball. I mean, that is just unfair. Gets to the basket whenever, wherever he wants. As I said, certified walking bucket. You need cash? Call the accountant. Call Christopher Smith. He is the walking ATM machine. Oh, if you think Gen Hiraiwa is going to defensively stop Christopher Smith, I just call that swishful thinking. Nothing but net from Christmas Smith. Well, 
Well, shout out to Jelani's mother, Edita Vilamor. Also, shout out to Pedron Kalawit. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Alvac trailing by 25. Wide open on the perimeter. Steps back to three point. It takes it. Front eye can't get it. Offensive rebound. The cart goes up with a one handed flush. That's what it needed all game is just to get those offensive rebounds. They try to survive in the second chances, but defensively, they then got the bigger job of trying to stop Chiba from getting wide open looks from the perimeter. Smith by the law takes another one. Goes over the back. I mean, what a save. I'm able to keep it in the end, but they got numbers now. Alvac. Gotta finish this one. Gets rejected! Not in my house! Well! Vic Law! The Sheriff! There's a three-pointer. Look at the hustle by Edwards. Alvac diving everywhere. Well, they think they've got this one. In Japan, you'd say Sagoi. That is goodbye, Pa'alam Magadangabi. You are not welcome. I'm wondering if Adam Itis thinks that touched the backboard first. He maybe is trying to insinuate it should be a goaltending violation, but that was a good block shot by Vic Law in the end. John Mooney checks back into the game for the Jets. Michelangelo, exactly, not in my house. What a block shot, good rim protection. Moody down the middle, mid. Oh my goodness! Salamat, no, excuse me, Salamat, John Moody with a throwdown, baby. Are you kidding me? What did we just see, B League fans? We might have seen the dunk of the game. Traveling violation is going to be called cool. turnover. Twenty-three point ball game. Total control this game. Well, shout out to the mother of Jelani. Edita Gekosa Villamor from Sugiao City. Another trial is called another turnover. Zach Baraski comes back in the game. 2.31 to go here in the third quarter. And the way this game is played out, you feel like it's the fourth quarter at the moment. Total dominance here from Alvac Tokyo. Trying to go for the post up down low. And in the end now, look out below, ladies and gentlemen. Houston, we have liftoff. Elvis has left the building. That's Christopher Smith, both ends of the floor, putting his hand in the cookie jar. Coming up with a still and throwing it down with authority. Well, starts with a double team there. Smith just putting his hand in the... Passing lanes coming up with the interception. Well, Tumatuk Bo and Batang Lalaki. Pa Alam.
25 point deficit. Total destruction here in the second half. I mean, Tokyo without Daiki Tanaka, Ryan Rossida. We just haven't been able to get things going. As Alex Cook under the basket, he gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, tomorrow, game two will be played between these two teams. Ruku Golden Kings will also take on Yokohama B. Corsairs. Well, Donnie Ray Bellis just said the cross court passing play of Alva Tokyo is causing problems. You're absolutely right, Donnie. That is a very good point because they've done that too many times tonight. And Chiba have just read that so many times and got so many steals forcing Alva into turnovers. And Jelani, yeah, correct. Tomorrow, Ruku Golden Kings, they will take on Yokohama. And Salamat, thank you, Pedron Kalawit. As Kirk makes both free throws. 23 point deficit, 149 to go here in the third quarter. Chiba going with a patient play, no need to rush this. Moody wide open, takes it, fires it. That's always going to be the same result. John Moody has such a slow release, but it's amazing. How the defense invites him. Yo, Hiroshima did this in the quarterfinals. Let him take too many wide open three pointers. Cross court now, 26 point deficit, wide open, doesn't get it. Now Chiba can look to push. Rudy guy by Cook, goes like a Tim Duncan shot. Oh, baby, this guy. His jump shot is poetry in motion. And that's the Tim Duncan has shot the 15 foot. Cook under the basket, he's gotta go up in this one. Yeah, and that's what he's gotta do. I mean, gets caught in double teams. He's just gotta go up and draw the foul. Another deep three, gets to get it now. There's going to be eight seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Lansky spinning now, goes up, puts up a little crack, can't get it, and goes out of bounds. Six seconds on the shot clock. May Tad, you're right. I mean, look, Shuto Ando really has been taken out of his game here. Osakabe is coming back in with set of size, but 26 point deficit. Six seconds, try to get something here. That's a long two point from the line. He's over the backboard. And Osakabe steps out of bounds. So Chiba will have one last shot here at the end of the third quarter. 9.6 seconds left. Smith will bring this one up. Got it by Baranski. Five seconds. Four seconds. Deep three. Hell Mary fires. That goes over the backboard again. Question you want to ask the Tokyo Albach is just how uncontested that three pointer was. Well, third quarter has been a total capitulation. It was a 10 point deficit at the end of the first half. And now it's a 26. Point lead, 75 to 49 in favor of the Chiba Jets. We got one more quarter left. Feels like it's the end of the game. But hang in there, ladies and gentlemen. Game one of the semifinals between Chiba Jets and Alvok Toga. This is the 2022-23 Beerly Playoffs. Well, that is a big basketball. And if they're hoping to get that inside the hoop, that is what I like to call swishful thinking. Trying to keep the ball alive, up in the air. Oh, and that's hit the ground. I think the objective, oh no, they keep going. They're almost in there. They're almost in there. Wide open. Bellin Hell, Salamat, Bellin, oh, excuse me, no. Salamat to the Chiba Jets fans for making the big 3.0.
One last quarter to go here, live at the Funabashi Arena, Chiba Jets, the home of the greatest team in the B-League. 24 leading game streak this season, they've been unbelievable. It looks like the way they're playing, they're going to take game one. They've still got quite a ways to go. So good now, trying to split the defense down, way off the mark, can't get it. The foul is going to be called. Against Alvax Tokyo. You know, one thing Chiba Jets don't want to do now is to get too complacent, too confident. They just want to close this game out, get ready for game two. And even if that means running through your bench, you don't want anybody to get injured. Smith in the corner, Contessa doesn't get it. The rebound has been secured. But Tokyo turn it right over. Just picked up by Asato Ogawa. Tokyo again. It's been the simplified story of the game. Just unable to take care of the basketball here in the second half. Too many turnovers. Six on the shot clock. Smith finding Ogawa. Step back. Mid-range. Takes it. Ooh, we in not. Asato Ogawa didn't step back. 18-foot jump shot. Beautiful play. Shot clock here for Alvac. Must get something. Sakabe trying to bully his way in. Makes the contact. Doesn't get it. Another rebound. Chance to make this a 30 point, maybe plus deficit for Chiba. He's now with the ball in his hands. Now he's going to be committed on the ground. It's on Osakabe. I don't think he's too happy with the call. Well, he's had a very frustrating evening here tonight. We got a sideline possession to Chiba Jets. Chiba making a few changes. Edwards checks back in the game. And Takuma Sato in the backcourt. Nishimura wide open. Takes it, doesn't get it. Unable to make it a 30 point deficit. He tries the mid range. Easily tucks that one away. And Tokyo just haven't been able to get in that rhythm here tonight. But again, you gotta give them a bit of credit because without. Justin Cobbs and Daiki Tanaka and Ryan Rossiter. It has taken them offensively out of their game plan. So 7.47 to go. No foul called. Smith felt there was a bit of contact. I felt he should have gone to the free throw line, but maybe, yeah, I, I agree with him. Well, Shutahara. Oh, no, the foul was called. So, yeah, correct. Correct decision. So two free throws coming up for Christopher Smith, having some family and friends watching currently in Sacramento. Fifteen points for the certified walking bucket, the professor, the doctor. Makes them both. Well, gee, that's a good one because you know I really like both teams, but coming into series. If, the, if there weren't so many injuries to Alvac Tokyo, I would say this is going to a three-game series. But without Daiki Tanaka and without Ryan Rossiter, Justin Cobbs, it's looking very unlikely. And hopefully all three will be ready for game two. Baranski, another three-pointer. Doesn't get it. Oh, 
Mara was back. Gibson in the third quarter really did make it rain. Find a Moody. And there was a reaching foul. Now you see right there, the double team had to come over from seven sides because it was a clear mismatch in the low block. Problem there was Shutahara was wide open on the perimeter. Got it by Cooks. Pulls up. Hail Mary takes it. Almost got it. Almost got fouled on that play. Under seven minutes. 28 point lead to the Chiba Jets. Remember, the triple crown is still on now. Zalbach still struggle from the perimeter. Good hands by Sebasai. Putting his hand in the cookie jar. Lot past Kirk, he's caught the triple team. Hans Sabasais, and he'll throw that one down. Well, Maytan making a very good point to try out her game two, improve the defense, jump over those rebounds, and limit the turnovers. The series isn't finished. And Maytan, you're absolutely right. I mean, look, it's only game one, but they definitely need their three best players and Ryan Rossida, Justin Cobbs, and Daiki Tanaka back for the second game and a traveling violation. He's going to be called against Gavin Edwards. Six eleven to go here in the fourth quarter. Chiba in total control of this game. Not looking like they're running away any anytime soon, of course. Sai's getting a post up here, trying to isolate. Kicks this one out. Tokyo go for another three. Still can't get it. An offensive rebound. Collected by seven sides. 5.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. Tokyo, it's about pride. Alvac must battle to the end. But also, neither team wants to pick up an injury here. Well, I'd also like to take this time to thank you, all the li fans watching live on the YouTube stream. Let us know your name, where you're watching, so we can give you a shout out. We have 411. Fans watching live here. Alvac Tokyo trailing game one against Chiba Jets as a mid-range off the dribble shot. It's like to way by Reiju Sasakura-san. Remember game two will be played tomorrow, same place. Which if Chiba wins that one, they'll be on their way to the finals. Remember last season, Chiba losing to Utsunami of Brex, the same team they defeated in the 2021 finals. Ara pushing off now. Jump shot mid-range. Rattles in and out. And Tokyo with another five minutes. Trailing by 26. Pride is on the line for them. Left wide open. He's got to take it. Another three. This time he gets it. Cuts it out at 22 points. Or well, 21, excuse me. Well, Maytan, that's a very good point. I agree with what you're saying. So very, very good point. And I appreciate your comments on what you said there, Maytan. Very, very good. So Yashi looking for an opening. Find a Mooney. And Mooney's going to throw that down. And Sabasai is going to make no attempt to block it. 21 points for John Mooney. Well, the penetration from Yuki Tsugashi drawing the defense. Well, that's not a good look there. Timeout now. These two teams will talk it over as we have minutes away from the end of this game. Chiba Jets on their way to winning game one. Well, let's give some shout outs to Nikola Jukanovic, Zdravo Kakose, Prite Moi, Moi Ime, Josh Bet, Yavolim. Kosharku. And shout out to Long Wen, son, Sintao, Mahwe Hum. 
Đội đến là Josbet, đội U Việt Nam. Well, there are the top scorers for Alvac Tokyo so far. Alex Kirk with 14. Also, Baranski with 11. Shout out to Benji Demon as well. And of course, shout out to the greatest fan here today, Maytan, who's been with all the B League games. And that's why she's the best. She's in, tuning into every single B League game I've been commentating. And as well as Jelani, shout out. Maytan, that's correct. I will be commentating tomorrow's game Chiba versus Alvac Tokyo. Tokyo trying to salvage their pride here. Oh, nice little pass. Oh, kicks rejected. Not in my house. John Mooney, the insurance protector. The insurance policy, excuse me. I'm not sure if he's playing for the Chiba Jets basketball team or the volleyball team, but he swatted that one into the VIP section. Smith now. Three. Takes it. Fires it. Bit of string music. Nothing but net from downtown. Shout out to Jason, watching from Kenya, and Ayushman Chowdhury. Another deep three. And Zalvac Tokyo settling the nerves. Reiju Sasakura hitting back-to-back -back triples. He now moves up to 11 points. Moody going baseline. Good defense. Moody under the basket with a two-headed rim rocker. That is good night. Magadagabi Ayasuminasai Gamsam Hamnida. Or Chuk Mungon, as they would say in Vietnam. Putting it back to 25 points under three minutes. Kirk turning around. Oh, Kirk. I'm just going to reject the win around with the Hakeem the Dream Elijah on baby hook shot. Now Smith kicking out. Another wide open. Ogawa can't get it. Smith trying to tip and duck. Now we're under two and a half. 409 people watching on the live YouTube stream. Where are you watching in the world? We got fans in Sacramento in the USA, Long Island, New York, Lithuania, Germany, and the Philippines. Triple change coming. It's coming into the game. Brown for Chiba. Katsumi Takahashi. So check this game is Jaba Yonayama and Gaku Arao coming in here for the Jets to finish off these last two minutes and 17 seconds. 36 years of age is Arao San. Semisai is with the post up turnaround jump hook. The fourth quarter, but he did struggle early in the game with those post moves. Well, Glenn Brock watching from Arizona. And Hanabong watching from Santa Barbara, California. Nico Flores watching from the Philippines. Welcome, Nico. Now we're under two minutes to go here. Science corner doubles and kicks out. Another three pointer. Three is up, no good. And the tip on the offensive rebound. 130 to go. It's all about pride. Makes the contact. He'll go to the free throw line. The foul is going to be caught against Sato Ogawa.
Hey, Tan, thank you for joining us again. You are the MVP fan, the most valuable person. And I'll see you tomorrow and maybe see you in August in Manila at the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Jolly be on me, Maytan. Just over a minute to go. Chiba moments away from getting game one here in the semifinals. One game away from getting to the finals. And bringing back the championship, which they won in 2021. That's a three point, they go for it. 24 second violation. Shout out to Engine Pamat, Manila, Philippines. Salamat Kuya. Shout out to Engine Pamat. And shout out to Dilip Kumar from Ireland. Welcome, my friend. Mr. Malari coming from the Philippines. Welcome. The turnaround hook shot by Sebasai is no good. Well, Chiba must get an offense here because of 24 seconds. Won't run out. But what a phenomenal performance has been by the Jets, the team who's been defensively number one here in the B League, offensively from the perimeter, the very best. Setting the record books, 24 games they won in a row this season. Deep three, up, good night. Chiba, the Funabashi Arena, Asato Ogawa-san. He says, Arigato gozamas. Hayasu minasai. With the big time three-pointer. Ladies and gentlemen, Chiba Jets, they'll take game one as they win this 89 to 66 against Alvar Tokyo. 2022, 22, 23 big playoffs. B League's number one, Chiba Jets, one game away from getting to the finals. Game two is tomorrow. Shout out to Christina Dela Cruz. And Magadang Gabi to all our fans in the Philippines tonight. Tomorrow is game two. Can coach Adamitis and his team turn this around? The Can John Patrick's team close it out and get ready for the finals that will be hosted in Yokohama. Yugi Togashi said. I like to call him Mr. Muzukashi Des. Because every play he makes is a difficult one, but somehow, some way, he finds a way. Well, Jelani, yes, I'll be the commentator tomorrow for game two, and maybe game three if we get that far. So I will see you all tomorrow. Well, momentarily, we're going to hear from the players and the coaches. And the MVP from this game, we'll probably hear from Coach John Patrick. So stay put, more to come, then we'll show you some stats and the key highlights as Chiba Jets applaud their home fans. そして船橋アリーナにお集まりのバスケットボールファンの皆さん、見事勝利しました千葉ジェッツ勝利インタビューです。千葉ジェッツ船橋まずはジョンパトリックヘッドコーチです。まずこの大事なセミファイナル一
そうですねディフェンスファーストの、えー、まあ態度ディフェンスファーストの、えー、作戦であとやっぱりボールがよく動いてて、えー、スリーポイントシュートも入ってたんで、良かったと思います。相手の強みであるインサイド、そして相手のエースシューターには仕事をさせませんでした。その点はどうでしょうか。まあ、また明日ありますけど、あの、まあ、今日は本当に満足して。えー、ちょっと休んで、また明日、えー、勝ちたいと思います。ありがとうございます。どうもありがとうございました。それでは続いて選手の皆さんにも伺ってまいりますまずはキャプテン富樫勇樹選手お願いしますこの富樫選手は、CS では記憶しかないので、まずこうやって一緒できたことはすごく嬉しく思います。今日チームが目指すディフェンスからの走るバスケット、相手は東京、落ち着いた冷静なオフェンスのチームですけれども、自分たちのバスケットはできたでしょうかそうですねあの、しっかりディフェンスからあの自分たちのペースに持っていけたと思いますしあの、まあ、本当にコーチが言ったように、オフェンスはしっかりボールも動いてたので、明日それを続けてやっていけたらいいなと思います。富樫選手自身も第一クォーターからスリーポイントシュート、積極的でしたね。そうですね、まあ、あの空いたら打つと、まあ、それは常に思いながらやってるので、あのーまあ、チームがあの勢いに乗れるような、ね、あのシュートを決められればなと思いますキャプテンから見て、今日この大事な初戦で,です、ね、しっかり勝ち切ることができた、チームのどういうところが良かったですかまず今日はやっぱりディエンスかなと、あのー、相手を66点に抑えたディエンスっていうのが、あの今日の勝因だと思いますし、はいまあ明日しっかり、えー、連勝して。あのー、ファイナル進出決めればいいなと思います。明日も期待しています。ありがとうございました。続いて、今日17得点をマークしました。原修太選手、お願いします。ラブズギツガシ。さあ、もちろん、その選手たちは、非常に喜んでいます。今日は、このディフェンスが非常に良いです。今日は、このディフェンスが非常に良いです。今日は、このディフェンスが非常に良いです。Let's listen now to Shutahara of Chiba Jets. まずは今日の得点から伺います。スリーポイント5本。本当にあの勝利を加速させる活躍でしたね。はい、えっ、ー、とー、まあ先週あのスリーポイントの確率がすごく良くなかったので、あまあけどあの今シーズン積極的に打つっていうことをやってきたので、それを継続した結果が出て良かったです。打ち続けたことが良かったんですね。はい。そして。代名詞のディフェンスでは、相手のエースチューターに得点を与えませんでした。その点はどうでしょう。そうですね。あのー、まあ、チャンピオンシップは本当にディフェンスが重要になってくるので、あのー、明日も続けてやっていきたいと思ってます。何かあの、富樫選手も原選手もインタビュー非常に冷静に答えていただいていますけれども。チームのその熱い部分とこの冷静な部分、チームの雰囲気どうなんですか、今。え。そうですね。あの別に冷静なわけじゃないんですけど、あの本当に優勝することが目標なので、あの明日気を引き締めてやっていきたいと思ってます。それではインタビュー最後の質問になります。チームを代表して明日のゲーム2に向けて意気込みをお願いします。えー、まあ本当にあのチャンピオンシップ何が起こるかわからないので、あの引き続き熱い応援よろしくお願いします。どうもありがとうございました。Well, that was Shutahara having a great third quarter, of course, for Shiba Jets, where he shut the lights out. Talking about how great the defense was from his team, as he mentioned from Patrick and Yuki Tugashi, but saying they need to continue that tomorrow. And ask the fans to continue their support. Now we're going to have John Mooney, but also Shutahara saying to the fans. Last week they struggled with the three pointers against Hiroshima, but shot the ball very well. They'll fight tomorrow. Let's listen out to John Mooney. That's a good win.、Um, that's a good Tokyo team. They're very physical.、Um, you know, we came out in that second half with good energy, and we're going to have to do it tomorrow from the start. はい、あの強いアルバルクに対してあのいい勝ちはできたと思います。後半もあのしっかり締めてこうやって勝つことができてよかったです。
はい、ありがとうございます、えー、そして今日はカーク選手、サイズ選手と非常に大きな選手が2人いる中でもうゲーム3に続いて今日も非常に、えー、フィールドゴールパーセンテージ高かったんですけどもそのあたりご自身に意識されている部分というのはいかがでしょう私は自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、自分のことを頑張っているので、こう一段二段とこの声が大きくなっていたと思うんですが、そのあたりは無理せず届いてましたか。Great atmosphere in here. Thank you guys so much for your support.、Um, we're gonna need it again tomorrow, and hopefully we can get another win for you guys. はい、素晴らしい環境の中でたくさんの応援本当にありがとうございます。明日も必ず必要になりますので、ぜひよろしくお願いします。ありがとうございます。それでは無理選手にはジャンボ君クッションにサインを入れていただきます。こちら当選者ビジョンにて。ただいま発表しておりますのでご確認くださいまた公式ツイッターでも発表しておりますのでそちらも合わせてご確認くださいありがとうございます今一度今日のジャンプ決勝ジョン・ムーニー選手の大きな拍手をお送りくださいさあそれでは今日も最後にいきましょう勝利の月次目高見選手お願いいたしますそれでは、高見選手、お願いします。はい、えー、僕が合図したら、実ボードお願いします。お手柔らよー、ぜ。ありがとうございました。今一度、千葉ジェッツの選手の大きな拍手をお送りください。Well, there you have it. Game one going in favor of the Chiba Jets. Hearing from all the fans. Players and coaches, John Mooney, the MVP of this game, he had a phenomenal performance. But they do their victory lap with their crowd here at the Funabashi Arena. One win away from getting to the Triple Crown. They've been fantastic this season with the best record. And as we mentioned already, setting the record for most victories in a row 24 consecutive wins in a row for the Chiba Jets this year. And there is the MVP, John Mooney. What a performance he had here this evening. Well, the former Notre Dame Fighting Irish player, John Mooney, what a phenomenal performance it was, to say the least. We'll take a look at the highlights here from this game. But as it stands, Chiba Jets, they will win game one. Well, the post up play from Seba Sai started off very well in the first quarter. It looked like it was going to be a competitive game, but just not enough in the end. It was a throw down by Mr. Mooney. JM with a two handed Thunder Slam. Osakabi started the game off very well, but got into foul trouble. Some of the fouls very questionable that he picked up, but in the end he did foul out, which was costly. And there was a dish off there, finding seven sides with a two-handed rim rocking slam jam. Certified bucket, Mr. Christmas Smith drilling the deep three-pointer. Well, he had a good game as well for that matter. Shoot to Hara, making it rain with no regard for the defense's help. And there was a three pointer by Zach Baranski, one of the only few triples they hit in this game. It just wasn't enough to get them over the final hurdle. Hara again, make it rain. Hara San from downtown. Ratsy hitting his second triple. That cut it down to a four point ball game. 
just wasn't enough in the end. Too little, too late. This is great hustle. Good save by Takuma Sato. Nishimura, what did we just see on that play? Nishimura with the wrap round reverse layup. Well, Sato gets blocked, gets zone rebound. Loose ball, no problem. Takuma Sato. So he's actually hitting front eye. This is the very last play of the first half. Yoshi going coast to coast. Good Otaka Yoshi with the M1. Third quarter play was just simply too much here. Another deep three by Shutahara and nailing that one from downtown. But the three-point shooting for Shutahara really did separate the game in the third quarter. the penetration finding Moody under the basket again the reverse slip in the M1 now put it back to 20 point deficit but again Vic Law wide open one result nothing but net by Vic Law Kirk with the follow up loose ball, but at that point the game is over. Tokyo at this point just playing for pride. Pride it was just to keep them in the game. As Moody, my goodness, taking a body on that one, committing a crime. Was his good hands here? What is he having a transition all the way? And oh! Throws it down. Kicks out to Moody now. The pick and pop the three was up. And Moody, that's why he dominated this game. Defense just inviting him to take too many three-pointers. So Sato Agawa with the step back, the mid-range. And by then, the curtains had already been cooled. Tokyo's fate was already set. Baranski hitting the mid-range. Another deep three. <laughs> it's just poetry emotion with this Chiba Jets team. With 337, that was the second three pointer. My Reju Sasakura. But Asato Agawa had the curtain call again. Good night. And that was it. Game one going to the Chiba Jets. We're going to show you some stats here from this game. The game two will be played tomorrow in this arena in the Funabashi Stadium. What a game it was. Chiba shot 16 for 34 from the perimeter. 34 attempts, 16 makes, 47. Alphok Tokyo, 4 for 23. That was the difference in this game. John Patrick's team, they shot the lights out. They did have more offensive rebounds. But again, if you only make four three-pointers against Chiba Jets, that's how the outcome of this game went. Not enough in the end coming from Alvok Tokyo. Well, the assists definitely go in the favor of Alvac Tokyo, 32 to 17. It just shows you how well they effectively Chiba moves the ball, getting wide open looks, but getting high percentage looks on the perimeter. I mean, this is not a run and gun basketball team. This is a team that plays basketball the right way with a very good coach and a very good core of Japanese and import players.
Well, the fans will go home tonight here on Saturday evening. They'll come back tomorrow, Sunday evening, for game two here in the Funabashi Arena. But it promises to be an unbelievable atmosphere, to say the least. Twenty-three points for John Mooney. Four rebounds away, shy of a double-double. Yuki Togashi with six assists. Semisai is two rebounds away also from his double-double with 16 points. And he did struggle offensively tonight. But without Ryan Rossida, Justin Cobbs, Daiki Tanaka, it was very tough here for Albach Tokyo. But it's all over here tonight. Well, if you want to know how the other game went in the B-League playoffs, Ruku Golden Kings defeating Yokohama B-Corsairs at the Okinawa Arena. So Ruku Golden Kings taking a 1-0 lead against Yokohama. So both Chiba Jets and... Ruka Golden Kings one game away from getting to the 2022-23 Beely Championship and will be played in the Yokohama Arena. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining us here on the live YouTube stream of the Japanese B-League. This is B-League Basketball 2022-23 regular season's wrapped up. We're finally in the semifinals. Game one goes to Chiba Jets. They defeat Alvar Tokyo. All over in Okinawa, Ruku Golden Kings. They take a 1-0 lead against the Yokohama B Corsairs. Chiba want to bring back the Triple Crown, winning the Emperor's Crown. Also the regular season's best record, setting a record of consecutive victories. And they want to bring back the B-League Championship. Remember, they won it in 2021 against Utsunomiya Brex. But then the Brex knocked him out the semifinals last season. Could that change this year? Tokyo fans, they'll make the short journey back home, back to the capital city. And they'll be back here tomorrow night, in which their team must win to live to fight another day. We thank you for joining us live here in the Funabashi Arena. For now, good night. Thank you. Ayasu Minasai and Arigato Gozaimasu. We'll see you, Ashita, tomorrow.